Before I start, uh, Mark Walton, former NFL player, you gotta get you gotta get some help, bro. You've been arrested four or five times in the last what three years? Now you just did an armed robbery in Florida, and they tracked the GPS, and you've been arrested. Yeah, you gotta get yourself together. You gotta get your mental right. Like all you're doing is going to jail. Eventually, it's gonna it's not gonna turn out good for you. People are getting hurt. You you, you really need to get you some help. Because something's going on with you. Armed robbery. Yeah, you need to get you some help. What's going on, y'all? It's Corner Sportsnet. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. When this whole NIL was popping off and players was transferring back and forth, more like January 2022, December 2021, and Lane Kiffin got to talking, thinking he wouldn't be able to compete with other programs for players, cause they talking about they didn't they didn't have that kind of money for a player, and that these players were going to the highest bidder. It was like NFL free agency. He said nothing about liking how NIL was structured or players getting paid. He said nothing about that. Then you fast forward about, what is it, March of 2022? And he had a great recruiting class for 2022. And he landed a bunch of transfers. Now Lane Kiffin is talking about, I'm glad the players are getting paid. Bruh, you was one of the biggest critics of NIL. But since you landed some players, some good players, some great transfers, now you're like, I'm happy the players are getting paid. Hold up for a second. You were just complaining, talking about players are going to go to the highest bidder. And we don't have the same funding sources as some bigger universities. Bruh, Ole Miss is a, is a Goliath football program. Then he was talking about, well, you got some players that's going to be taken advantage of because some of these NIL deals aren't what they seem. But as soon as you figure it out, what you need to do to land these players, sure you study something, you called a couple people, as soon as you landed these players, these recruits, these transfers, got your program back to where you, it needs to be. Now, today, yeah, I... Make no mistake, I've said some things about NIL. I'm just being me, but I like the fact that players are getting paid. No, you don't. No, you don't. You wish it was like 20 years ago. Players had no say so. You wish it was like it was three years ago when players couldn't transfer at their leisure. You wish it was where players couldn't make any money. Just the under the table stuff, the brown paper bag, uh, the duffel bag. That's the days you wanted to go back because you had more control. But I would never listen to Lane Kiffin anyway because all he does every three or four years is go somewhere and get a bigger check. And it's not just Lane Kiffin. You got Kirby Smart that says something about NIL. Even Saban said it needs to be better legislated. Why? Players got a little bit of power. These coaches don't want to lose power. Plus, these coaches feel that players can switch college, colleges whenever they want. We're going to lose. We're going to lose a ton of players. They don't want the players having any power. But it, but you really shouldn't believe in no Lane Kiffin at all. Like I said, he leaves every three years for a new job. Saving a little bit more solid, he knows how to adapt. Kirby Smart, he knows how to adapt. But Lane Kiffin... One minute you're not feeling NIL, and the next minute you're going to talk about, I like the fact that players are getting paid. Nobody buying that, bro. Nobody.